this was such a weenie clap. There. Mm. Got it. Hi guys, Megan Collins from Style Girlfriend here. I hear from so many guys that, you know, Megan, shopping is hard for me because whatever reason. Megan, I'm tall. Megan, I'm short. Megan, I have a beer belly that's grown since college. Today, we're gonna be talking about the shopping tips and tricks that are best for those not so tall guys out there. That's five, eight or under. And by the way, that's 30 million of you. So if you're watching this and feeling like, oh my gosh, that's me. Trust me, you're not alone. There's a bunch of other guys that feel the same way that you do. So I'm at Peter Manning here in NYC. They make classic clothes for that not so tall guy. And you know what? They know what they're doing, so we thought we'd come here and get some tips from them. So while I'm totally for the idea of not caring what the label on your shirt or your pants says, I do think that shopping in the boys' department is best left to the boys. It's not really a great solution because those clothes aren't really of the same quality that you're gonna want for clothes that should last a long time. After all, they're designed for kids who are growing out of them. And second, the proportions are just gonna be off since those clothes are made to fit a form of someone smaller still growing and you're a grown man. So you can do better, we can do better together. No more shopping in the boys department. You really can't start shopping smarter as a shorter guy until you know what it is you're working with. I hear from so many guys who they don't even know their own measurements because they say, oh, you know, I just always end up getting a 30 in pants and then I have them tailored. But that's not really gonna help you find that elusive off the rack fit. And trust me, I promise you, it's out there. Of course, that means you need to know what a good fit actually looks like. Look out for shirt sleeves that don't billow, scaled down details, back pockets that actually sit on your backside, proper eyes, a shorter inseam, and for suiting and outerwear, a jacket length that doesn't go past your butt. So tailoring, while useful, sometimes gets expensive and sometimes... <sighs> Proportion and scale in clothes is really everything, and so when you try to shorten and, and alter them, you're messing with the proportion and scale. You can't fix that stuff, and, and if you try, you screw it up. You know, for not so tall guys, really finding things that are properly scaled and in proportion is everything. Tailoring and paying the tailor tax is also just a pain in the ass. No guy wants to do it. They want to shop and be done. They don't want to have to take their clothes for an extra step. That's just a nightmare, really. Now, when we say think small, we're not talking about the clothes, we're talking about the size of your wardrobe. It's so much better to have fewer clothes that look and fit just absolutely amazing than it is to have a huge wardrobe full of clothes that you're swimming in or that just don't make you feel like a million bucks. So when it comes to shopping, don't feel like you need a ton of options. Just be looking for those few pieces that are perfect. You're always gonna look better in clothes that keep the focus on you. Keeping things simple doesn't mean boring. So fit and scale and proportion really matter. So keeping your accessories smaller and in scale with the rest of your outfit, keeping colors kind of matching and, and, and working together so that you don't call the attention to one part of your body or another. The most important thing is that when it fits right, that's all you need. Fit will do everything you want it to do. So if you fit things right, everything else will follow. And finally, good grooming is key for shorter guys. You wanna make sure that your hairstyle is something like a high and tight, adds a little height on top and keeps things short on the side. And really a clean face is always best, just so that you're not overwhelmed by your facial hair. So if you're not so tall, that's really gonna help give you a clean, simple, streamlined look. Okay, that's seven shopping tips for not so tall guys. I'll be sure to be checking the comments, so let me know if there's any that I've missed down below and tell me what shopping issue you're struggling with so that we can be sure to address it in our next video. I'm Meg Collins of Style Girlfriend and I'll talk to you next time.